brilliant to be speaking to you after a win there. You know, it's quite a, a it took a t took a while to get that win, but we, we got what we deserved and two goals late at the end by Giles and Tommy to, to rightly give us the victory. Yeah, so I thought like I thought the first half was tight. Um they, they they played a different system to probably what we thought they were gonna play. So so it was a tight game. It was we were trying to adapt and try to change how we how we how we were approaching the first the first half. Managed to make a few changes at half time. Um, we, 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 I thought our ball retention, our, how we played, and, and how we kept hold of the ball, I thought was excellent. So, like the second half, we were patient, which is, which is one of the sort of key messages that we try to get across in the, in the, in the, at half time. Um, and, we, and we got what we deserved in the end. I thought. I thought our our sort of patience was key in, in not trying to get too carried away with it. And, yeah, I thought, I thought we got what we deserved. Yeah. Dominant might be a bit of a strong word, but I think we had the edge over yeah. the oval there, and and we did rightly deserve yeah. to win. Um, but yeah, it was it was, a, it was a really good performance, wasn't it? We just missing that almost that finishing touch yeah. for quite a while. Yeah, I think I think like that's that's the frustration, like, not the frustration, but that can be seen as like um, the the thing that might get away from you. Like we're, we're dominating the ball, we're creating chances, um, and and it's just that I said like it's not a lack of cutting edge. We just we're just quite not ruthless enough, um, and I probably that comes with them being a bit of a younger group. Um, but we've got to be a little bit more ruthless. We've got to build up our teams a bit, a bit, a bit. Um, if we get a chance, we should be a bit more clinical. If we can be, um, but the patience paid off. I thought, I thought how patient we were, how we dealt with sort of the atmosphere was a change a little bit. They made a lot of changes, um, and we sort of stuck to our guns. So like, fair play to the boys. They're a good group. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed working with them. Like they've been absolutely excellent. Like me and the academy staff going in, I couldn't speak highly enough of them. I think that the potential within this group is um, is frightening. Um, and uh, how they've been, how they've reacted to us coming in. Um, you might say it's a bit of a sort of new manager bounce, but I think um, they've, yeah, they've been excellent. They've took on board what information we've given them, and I, can't, I couldn't speak higher for them. Obviously, you and James have, have been on the dugout, but you know we've seen a lot of your your academy staff around. So it has yeah. been a real team effort from you guys, hasn't uh, it, coming in in the last week? a hundred percent. Like obviously, James is coming with me. Uh, Terry's been a great bit, a great, great support. Like obviously, me coming into doing this. Um, I couldn't speak high enough of Sam and Rich, and obviously even the staff that's that's that that that's remained from from obviously Mark and Tom moving on. Like Robbie's been out excellent, and obviously Adam and Brad and Kieran. So I couldn't I couldn't. I mean I probably might have missed one, but I couldn't speak high enough for the staff. And like I said, I, I think there's lots of potential within this group. Um, maybe iron out a few of the principles of of how we want to play and and, and get an identity built within them. That I think they can match a lot of teams within this league and, and go quite far. Probably set them up a bit, but I, I, I think very highly of this group. I mean, speaking in terms of that system, I know you're not going to want to give too much away, yeah, yeah. but obviously we've seen not too much of a change in, in itself, but um, we've seen like Justin, for instance, tonight yeah. playing a, in a bit of a different role and yeah. Harry and Tommy as well playing yeah. in a few different roles. So has it just been about making a few subtle tweaks? Yeah, 100%. I mean, how much can you change in like in like 10 days so I think for us coming in me and James spoke about it like like we don't want to change too much um, uh, we wanted to simplify it uh, but the principles right I mean hopefully we've seen some of the football we played played the day like I'm, I'm, I'm a big believer in, in, in possession football and high pressing and it was just getting that intensity right making sure um, we know our, our, our roles and our roles are simplified and, and, and we use systems and we use different formations potentially to get closer players or or to, or to manage different games, so you might see us flip through different formations and games and stuff. But yeah, for, for in terms of the change of staffing and how the boys have adapted to it, like uh, I couldn't speak high enough. And obviously, with a game last well, on Saturday, yeah. a, a tough battle against York, yeah. there was no sign of them tired out, was there? It was a really good performance. For yeah, them I, I, was, I thought first half we did look a little bit tired, and it looked like we played Saturday. Um, but I think in terms of second half, like like obviously seeing Vinny step up and the energy that we had within the midfield, I thought I thought was really really good. Um, but the, the, the I said good rest. We got to get to the training ground and like like try and do as much as we can because the short time we've been in and the short time we've got like, I guess the short time we've got got with them. So we've got to try and make the most of it really for what we thought on Saturday. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.